Okay, so I've got a bunch of shit here, uh, which I'm pretty much set for a while now, so, yeah, I don't think I need to do any more updates after this video. Uh, first, you might be wondering, VHS tapes, what the fuck, well, you can't be free, you cannot be free, okay? So, Dirty Dancing... I've always wanted to see this movie. This is a very old movie. It's older than me, okay? This is like... This tape is older than me. Do that in 98. Uh, I'm assuming that's my glasses and not the tape itself, so... Yeah. Top. Front. And side. Front back. Yeah, th th this cover looks shitty. Like, I mean, this cover looks pretty bad, I think. Look at that. Hey, look at that. That's like basic Photoshop error. I mean, I know this was the 80s, but there had, there had to have been a program similar. Something kind of similar where they could have cleaned this up a little bit. But, what do I know? Maybe they didn't, so... Here's a tape. I'm gonna watch this sometime. I got this because I like Uma Thurman. This is probably gonna be shit. Because she was in Batman and Robin, and that is fucking terrible. I have no idea what this movie's about. Uh, I hope it's at least, like, okay. Like, I don't know what the fuck happened there, but, yeah. Uh, and then we've got a Tom Cruise movie, which they were going to sell it for that price, but I'm like, hey, it's free. Uh, the store clerk was like, yo, it's free, take it. I'm like, cool. And there was this really nice Gone with the Wind set, which I wish I took, but I'm inside 2020, so be it just tapes. Okay, um, well, how is this organized? Um, Jack. Do I have... Psycho Steelbook, ten bucks on Amazon. Cannot beat that. Uh, there is a little bit of like things, but you can't really notice it. I guess this has always been my problem with steelbooks. Every steelbook I had, I have always seems to chip a little bit. Something smells weird about this case. I don't know what it is, and Miles Rowe can fuck off. Uh, it's pink. Um, I actually like this steel I really like this. Uh, why did I get this? Well, I had this Hitchcock set, and it got fucked up in the mail a few years ago, and a lot of the, um, inside part, like, a lot of the disc holders are broken, and Psycho's the one that's really fucked up. And I'm worried one day that DVD's not going to work anymore. So, bought this. One, because it was cheap. And two, because this movie's just fucking awesome. So why not get it on Blu-ray? Uh, yeah. Love Psycho. Uh, I'm going to say it's probably my favorite horror film. One of my favorites. Uh, I'm going to say it's probably my favorite Hitchcock film. I love it. Uh, Law Abiding Citizen. I have never seen this movie. But it was like... Eight bucks or something, or less than that. I don't remember. All I know is I had money and I wanted to go in and get it. And I love Jamie Foxx. Hopefully, he does better than this than The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which sucked. Uh, this is not a Blu-ray, but it's in a it's a DVD in a Blu-ray case, and all it is is a repackaging of the Animatrix, which I'm finally gonna watch. So I have a complete Matrix collection. Very happy about that. The flipper disc, so 
I think these are dual layer. I don't think it doesn't say dual layer. Come on, dual layer or not dual layer? It's a dual layer. Mm, dual layer. Okay, so they're dual layer flipper discs. Awesome. Next we got a series. Fuck yeah. Uh, this was in a Blu-ray special edition. If I have the time, I would like to do a more in-depth video about this, but... I love Star Wars. I had to complete this. I had to get this. It was 150 some. Actually, no, it was $114. And it was worth it, in my opinion. The art book is gorgeous. I had birthday money, so I wanted to uh, get this as a birthday present for myself, because I love... Star Wars, and I've always wanted to have this show in some uh, physical media form. Uh, there's one thing that's annoying about this set in terms of the disc artwork. As you can see, um, both volumes are compressed into these two sets, which make it very nice to put on the shelf. This is the smaller of the two. Um, I am planning on picking up the lost episodes. Which are coming out in a few days, holy shit. But I think I'm going to wait until I get my film equipment for my movie. And, um, yeah, pretty much it. Got to organize this shit here. Uh, next we got some movies and stuff that was a blind buy, but I've always wanted to see this film. I saw a trailer for it on my Spider-Man 3 DVD, and I've been seeing it and seeing it and seeing it. I've always wanted to see this movie. It looked fucking cool. And I finally saw it in my local uh, store. Two disc set. Two disc set. I cannot wait to watch this one. It's gonna be fucking great. I hope it's great. If it's not, I'm gonna be so pissed. Criterion Audition DVD, which is very cheap. So you're gonna be with me as I open this thing. Uh, what's it? There are. There is some damage to the box. This is a little annoying. I love Wes Anderson. I like him. I think he's a good director. Well, I guess not. I thought this was actually going to be some sort of digibook, but yeah. Comes with an insert, which is nice. And yeah. Good cast. Um, uh, yeah. It's an amazing cast, actually. Look at that cast. This, I mean, how long is this movie? Uh, ah, here we go. Uh, 110 minutes long. So I cannot wait to watch this one. It's going to be awesome. Interview with the Vampire. My mom has an older DVD of this, but she lost the older DVD. And I'm like, and she put the National Treasure in there. And I'm like, what the fuck? So bought this cheap. So why not? I got it for five bucks. Comes with the DVD and the Blu-ray. I like these cases. Um, if I get Bugs Life, it's probably going to be in one of these cases. So, and plus I've wanted to rewatch Bugs Life for a long time. So, yeah, I want to give that a look again. See if I see if it holds up. This is awesome. I'm going to have to reorganize these again. Goes to Michelle. Great movie. Really good. This is a bootleg my friend gave me for my birthday. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, this is a, the same guy who got me the Twilight DVD that I smashed. But yeah, I, I loved I really did enjoy Ghost in the Shell. I might do a review of it. I'd like to do a video of this in Blade Runner. So hopefully I'll be able to do that sometime. Next we got my favorite TV show of all time, Avatar The Lost Airbender, I fucking love this show, it's fantastic, you cannot get better than The Last Airbender of the show, the movie's god awful, never buying it, I don't care how cheap it is, a uh, good set, I think, you know what, I'm just gonna show these off now, and I'm, if I do in-depth videos, like, 
these, like, for all you know, these could be years from now when I finally do an in-depth video, but whatever. If I plan on doing an in-depth video, I will try to do an in-depth video. So, who knows? I meet years from now, and I'll have a different place, and I'll be on my current basement, and whatever. Or I might do it in a week. So, I would, I'm going to love rewatching this show. All three seasons. Am I going to get Legend of Korra? Probably when the fourth season comes out, so that's done with, so I can watch it. I actually have a lot more uh, TV stuff than I thought I did in terms of what I wanted to get. And uh, here's a piece of paper. Wait, did I show you the. Beautiful. I'll show you a book too in a minute. Love this show. It's fantastic on every level. Epic story. Great characters. I love every episode. Even the worst ones, as the nostalgia critic put it. But just great. Just a great show all around. Fantastic show. So, like I said, this is what this set looks like. Really nice. So, now comes the task of putting all these fuckers back on the shelf. Okay. Well, I'm going to get started with that and go to sleep. Live long and prosper and have a nice day.